he's been making moves. Jeff Bezos, you know, my brother in baldness, you know, but you know, minus the billions on my end, he's got the billions too out the ass still. And I mean, um, the ex-wife would know better than I would. But yeah, he's been up in space, or at least, uh, you know, with his dildo shaped according to some, uh, dick head shaped according to others, rocket barely busting the hymen into the most outer surface of space because he needed billions of dollars to make that happen for no real reason but the flex. Like, hey, I fucking fingered space. Ah, fuck it! Et cetera, et cetera. No, but legit, I had to fucking go to, I didn't have to, but I felt the need to go to for the sake of trying out and supporting this man's business, I went to a place in Brooklyn, of all places me, as clear as I made it already that I'm not a fan of Brooklyn. Maybe the people I make an exception for, you know, shout outs to AO Productions, Angel, shout outs to Brendan, shout outs to, I believe, Franny P. He was in Brooklyn, now he moved since he got married. Uh, Frankie the Pain and so many others that I know. Oh yeah, and Super Nitro, of course, too. JT Riddick as well, also. So many individuals I know from Brooklyn that I respect and admire fondly, but I'm still not crazy about Brooklyn. I never will be and shit, too, and today I had to fucking make the trip out there. It was about an hour and a half of my life. I will never get back to, and then another hour and a half or so coming back from Brooklyn. I'll never, ever get back in my life again, but it was worth it for the sake of being able to promote, of all places, the Swiss slice a pizza shop i don't know where exactly in brooklyn uh s-w-i-s-s -S -S space s-l-i-c-e the swiss slice because it's owned by and managed and run I, I guess by as well too you can assume that by uh marco the drummer for afro dominicano but shout out to marco he owns the swiss slice which is a pizza shop uh you know with his recipe as far as styling the piece is concerned as well as the uh, Chow Bella Cafe, which is literally across the street from where the Swiss Slice is located. Now, funny thing is about the uh, Chow Bella is that I believe he opened up either a month or two right before the pandemic hit. So that's when a lot of small businesses, restaurants specifically, had to shut down completely, go out of business, etc. Unfortunately, and shout outs and prayers to everybody who might might have uh, been a victim of that. But he was able to survive miraculously through those times when Chow Bella opened right before the pandemic. Still there, staying strong, um, loyal, firm clientele. He was able to, as a result, apparently, open up the Swiss Slice and follow up with that directly. Literally across the street from each other. So shout out to him. He's a real good example of just pushing through and persevering and standing out regardless of whatever's thrown in your face or drops on your lap like that uh marco if you're listening or you're watching this i really hope that we can sit down soon enough i know we talked about it already but i really would like to sit down with you be it chow bella be it swiss slice wherever you choose to really go more in depth on your story business wise personal wise all that shit too but yeah free plug and shout outs to again the swiss slice uh, god damn i dropped on my pepperoni fuck Sorry about that. that. That's not the fault of his pizza. That's the fault of me thinking that's going to be the smartest thing to do with a pizza fucking hanging vertically right here of all fucking things. But the show is fucking good. I bought a slice before this. I bought two, uh, basically. And I just saved the pepperoni one to show as proof that I'm eating it right now. And I'll be enjoying it soon enough as soon as I'm done recording here. I don't want to be that dickhead that chews. And munches and, and looks like a Neanderthal as I do this episode. Well, because that's a good slice. Because funny enough, speaking of eating out. But I still don't understand why people even want pigs as pets. Because I know they want those little cosmetic, like little miniature small ass pigs. Which I'll admit, they're cute. Especially piglets and shit. But a pig shits everywhere. Eats his own shit. You can feed it the leftovers, just give it whatever kind of shit you don't want to eat yourself. If the pig uh, can lift itself up to, to reach into the toilet bowl and drink the water out of the toilet, or if you vomited it, or if you just shitted it, and then the pig's right there, right after you to scoop all that up, it's going to eat all that too, I believe, right? Something like that. But whatever, pigs as pets reminds you too much of the people I used to travel with, like their uh, 
comfort peacocks or you know uh, emotional distress armadillos and shit too and thank god the airlines are canceling that shit so there's no more of that going on i hope soon enough but yeah brilliant <laughs> i have absolutely no idea what's going on batman made the news as he is every so often because apparently for season three of the excellent series animated series harley quinn on hbo max now that show's fucking hilarious i'm already going through uh the second season i think for like the third time because that shit is so funny and, and so well written for season three they wanted to include a part story arc maybe just a scene of batman uh eating out catwoman's pussy now there's a lot that goes into questioning how and why this bothers anybody at all or why more importantly the higher-ups, the heads of the DC Universe would say, basically, Batman doesn't eat pussy. He would never. He's not that kind. Like, it's a bad thing, if anything, too. Now, listen, I can understand if maybe the fan base or overly zealous, obsessed fanboys would be like, oh, well, it has to be uh, accurate to the comics. So, Catwoman, in this case, on the show, since she, she's been so misrepresented by, you know, uh, too dull to be exciting Anne Hathaway in a Dark Knight trilogy and or the solo movie, which no one wants to remember with Halle Berry as Catwoman. Uh, you know, she has to be, uh, you know, Mexican this time around because it's not black, it's not white, it's in between. And I don't know, let's have Catherine Zeta-Jones play her this time. No, 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 no. That would make sense to have that fucking kind of back and forth bigger in argument between the fanboys, the fucking people putting that shit together, and to see if they listen to the fucking crowd, the audience, the fans, better yet said. I'd understand that. I'd even understand if, let's say, oh, uh, Catwoman only did that because she's actually in love with Poison Ivy and Harley Quinn, and now she identifies as a, a cat man. But she's still a woman because she's too scared to transition over uh, to a male and get like bel uh, Velcro balls and a strap on dick or something like that. I don't know. It could be something as silly as that. But no, it's strictly the higher ups of DC saying Batman eating pussy. No, 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 no. They can't be Matumbo. No, no, no. And, you know, people were making the jokes about fucking, oh, well, uh, then DJ Callen must be fucking Batman of all things Because they do both don't eat pussy They don't go down on the women They love and appreciate Listen, Batman don't love anybody Batman, if anything, loves Alfred Batman loves the Batmobile Batman loves the idea of Batman Because somehow, some way, Anytime he's gone up against Superman Or he's had to Somehow, miraculously Like, besides being a muscle-bound genius detective and a billionaire on top of that and fucking training all kinds of martial arts you know fighting styles etc etc he's like a fucking magician he might as well be fucking Doctor Strange cause he out of nowhere figures out kryptonite is the weakness of Superman just like Lex Luthor does randomly just like whoever fucking else exists to randomly knows this alien is weak to this fucking alien element that we don't have here on earth but we somehow pull out a thin air to use against him. So I don't know how that works either. But Batman is like DJ Khaled. No, not at all. Because DJ Khaled doesn't eat fucking pussy. Because even that will fucking cause that man to fucking get so winded by having to bend over, spread legs, go down, and move his tongue ah, in a rapid motion enough, which doesn't involve food or eating, which he loves to do. This is the same fat fuck that got a deal to work with Weight Watchers, which means, okay, like, uh, what was her name? Um, what was her fucking name, uh, that, that bitch? Uh, Marie Osmond. She signed on with Weight Watchers. She lost weight because that's what you're supposed to do with Weight Watchers. Watch your weight enough to watch your weight go down. No. Khaled, DJ Khaled, well, I can barely call him a DJ, but again, apparently he's a producer, allegedly all this shit too, but DJ Khaled got signed two Weight Watchers off his fucking clout and his name solely, and he got fatter on Weight Watchers. So, to actually expect him to do anything involving physical activity, even if it's uh, for the pleasure of having, you know, foreplay heavily involved, 
so that that way the, the pussy's nice, wet, warmed up, raring to go like a fucking revved up engine like it was Fast and Furious waiting to fucking haul ass off at the starting line. And, and just simply put the dick in and then, you know, half the work is done right there. No, he can't even fucking bother to do that. And this fat fuck even has a cheat code as far as eating pussy is concerned. You know, you don't got to be fucking uh, Mr. Perfect with the fucking tongue work and tongue action and lashing and, and bashing. He's already got the cheat code with that big fucking prickly beard to, like, work that to his advantage and, and tickle the pussy. While he's tickling the pussy with the tongue and shit too, like double time, and, and and use that to his advantage. But no, because again, it's physical activity. It's not, you know, uh, he can't be bothered to do anything beyond you know lifting his fork full of food to his mouth, chewing repeatedly and repeating from step one all over again until he finishes the fucking plate. No, so of course not. It's a funny joke. I get it too because they're one and the same too. But in this case, no, absolutely, DJ Khaled can never be anything even close to being like Batman, let alone cool, and the fact that he'll live on and have a, a legacy, a dynasty, all that shit. Now listen, God bless him and his child, wife, baby mother, whatever situation he's got going on too. I'm not wishing ill on them. But please don't make that comparison ever again. I, I get it for the sake of the joke. They both don't eat pussy, but that's where we have to draw the line as far as DJ Khaled and Batman being mentioned in the same sentence. Now listen, in response, I forget who the artist was, but they apparently drew up a comic panel of exactly that, Batman eating Catwoman's pussy on a rooftop randomly somewhere in Gotham underneath the moonlight, which seems romantic enough as far as how far Batman will do to stop somebody in their fucking tracks, or at least Catwoman enough to like give her, I, I would think Batman would at least eat a pussy for like... You know, he's probably mathematically deuced in his head, so he's like, hmm, if I do 7 to 10 minutes approximately of uh, Kungalingus on Selena, whatever the fucking name is, you know, aka Catwoman, that might subdue her enough for the time being at 5, 10 minutes of uh, wet pussy juice uh, dripping down the side of her thighs, I might be able to get away and, you know, go back to the back cave, whatever the fuck too, and then she might just give up for that night at least, robbing the bank. Or robbing a jewelry store or something. And maybe she'll leave it for tomorrow. She'll be so worn out from fucking her thighs trembling as my tongue blah, 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 goes back and forth like a goddamn uh, chameleon iguana. Lizard of choice, whatever name insert here, whatever, too. I don't know. But, and, and also Batman doesn't have a beard. He's got like a very rugged, defined, chiseled jawline. So, does the chin help when eating pussy? I should know this because I actually partake in this activity. I'm not trying to be disgusted and or TMI guy right now, but I, I'm not ashamed and or shy of doing so. But only with the women I've been very fond of and or I've been intimate by choice like that with. I'm, I'm picky with the pussy. I, I, I don't even know how that may come off right now. Me of all things, I'm a bald, off-white, light-skinned idiot, so... Who the fuck am I to even say that? But that I'm being honest, if anything. If you would have asked me, I'd be like, yeah, I'm very picky. I'm, I'm not going to put my dick in just anything just to say I did. And I'm also not going to be like, well, no, not her because her breath stinks. You know, like what allegedly Nas said about Beyonce. You know, she had stank breath, smelled like horse shit. So it was like, nah, B, I can't do it, God. <laughs> That's always the funniest fucking story, if true at all. And imagine Nas would have got with Beyonce. Virgo with Virgo cancel each other's out, so I think the universe knew them two together wouldn't have worked, so probably the stars aligned to fucking make Beyonce's breath stink so much that Nas will be turned off enough to be like, nah, nah, B, I can't do that, God, ill will be turning in his grave if I hit that with that stank-ass horse shit breath, B, <laughs> whatever, allegedly, shout-outs to Nas, shout-outs to Beyonce, we're just kidding here. But again, I like to imagine. But then again, if you look at it this way too, of the female villains that Batman also frequents like that as far as like, you know, Catwoman, Poison Ivy, Harley Quinn, and who else? Oh yeah, there's Talia al Ghul, Raja al Ghul's daughter. I think Catwoman would be the safest one for him to eat the pussy of to at least subdue her for a good while. 
you know, because as nimble, as acrobatic, as uh, proficient in fighting that she is too as well, and a master jewel thief and whatnot, I think she could be subdued enough since she's not super powered to, to fall victim to the overwhelming, uh, overwhelming, excuse me, orgasmic power that it takes over one's body as a female, I would assume, so that she has no energy or drain of all energy possible to like go through with a bank heist, go through with uh, Robin Jules later on that night because, oh my God, he ate my pussy so good, I can't even turn over to the side without being like, uh, in the bed and shit. But, um, cause if he does that to Poison Ivy, I would think if she gets too excited or her click gets stimulated way too much, She's going to be popping thorns out the, out the pussy lips and the, and the thighs. So if you're caught in between that, you know, the next thing you know, you got fucking rose thorns, like, digging all in your face. And then and trying to explain that in the hospital, the ER and shit, too. You know, poison ivy, she's one to get around. But goddamn, every rose has its thorn. And someone cues fucking Brett Michaels to come in, dan, 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 whatever. Then there's fucking uh, Talia Al Ghul, which... What is it? Uh, Raja Ghoul goes into the, the the pits of whatever the fuck to live forever and shit. They got that love hate relationship of uh, having trained Batman, but then he's the one who's a higher evil, so Batman has to stop him. Talia is raised by her father, of course, wanting to rule the world and shit. But then, if she looks anything like how she did in The Dark Knight Rises, and or uh, I forget which. Batman Arkham game it was too if I'm Batman I wouldn't be able to help but to be like an overly powerful being who happens to be a female she's got a pussy in the pulse and she's fine as fuck basically why the fuck not and you know getting thrall that way too with her so she's I guess you could say super powered to an extent so she's dangerous she's high risk so you might not want to eat her pussy because then she might have like she might have rubbed like poisonous a uh, love potion cream batter down there too while you're eating and next thing you know you're obsessed with her all you can think about sees her and shit and she's you basically become a fucking love slave and, and Batman don't need to have that happen to him and then you know there's Harley Quinn which is like now Harley Quinn will be the interesting one too because Catwoman at least is like again no powers really nimble and acrobatic a gymnast and shit too so you know He's probably going to be eating her pussy on a fucking rooftop with a, her hanging upside down somehow, being all elaborate and shit. Harley Quinn, too. A very proficient fighter, a gymnast, a ballet shit, whatever the fuck else she does. A super fucking brainy and smart, too. But she's been dicked down by the Joker, his greatest nemesis. And according to people who read too much into Batman and his psychology, maybe even alluding to... Uh, low-key lovers want each other that bad they can't live without each other because good versus evil yin versus yang and shit etc etc now joker has been all up in harley quinn's guts every embodiment of harley quinn has been an attractive blonde that was dropped into a vat of chemical whatever the fuck and turned you know ghost makeup clown pale like the joker was too as well so, but there's no denying she's attractive. She's got a huge fucking mallet, hammer, whatever, two hyenas for fucking pets and shit. As well, so as far as crazy, she takes the cake. And they say the crazy bitches have like the best pussy because they're willing to fucking go all out and fucking really entangle you emotionally, psychologically, all that too. But again, the character dangles above him as far as whether he takes the bait or not is Joker's dick that exists and that's been all up inside Harley Quinn he could if he wanted to I I'm sure Harley for the sake of getting the one up on Batman or having having Joker catch him with his pants down literally she'd fucking you know oblige to that shit too as well for the sake of Mr. J and making him happy but I think the safest less riskiest choice for Batman is if he does choose indulge in pussy according to the DC higher ups and heads of the universe and shit too if he decides to sub, you know give in to his urges as a man as a lonely 
a handsome billionaire muscle-bound genius martial arts formally trained man at the end of the day he's got a dick and nutsack dangling and i'm sure it gets hard throughout the day as long as you fucking you might spin in the back cave there's a man at the end of the day with needs and pussy to eat and women to fucking drool over if there is such a thing or if he's trained himself to the level of i cannot obsess over a woman i can't simp I, i've canceled my simping capabilities out of my internal system but batman eating pussy i think we'll probably get it if not the direct imagery of him doing so in harley quinn season three maybe we'll get like an overshadowing image or the uh silhouettes of batman in between the thighs face first deep diving inside catwoman i don't know how it'll play out i hope it does get you know done at least for the sake of a good joke since you know season one and season two have been hilarious till now season three should be an easy fucking knockout let's see if it happens i'm trying to see that and i'm trying to see if now we get to that level with that image burning to our fucking skulls where we can officially declare batman as the superhero of the people that men are dying with envy to be and women wouldn't mind being with i'm sure and also, justice needs to be done for fucking Batflick, a.k.a. Ben Affleck, who I still think, I'll debate you if you want to, no problem there, I still think it's the best Batman we've gotten up until now. Well, let's see what fucking Robert Pattinson does with the Batman whenever that drops, because remember, we all fucking groaned and moaned when uh, they announced Ben Affleck was going to be Batman, but then we actually enjoyed ourselves, most of us, with Batman vs. Superman, him being a saving grace and that shit too, and giving us the best Bruce Wayne there too as well. We never got the solo film that Ben Affleck had in mind for his version of Batman. Which was rough, rugged, and raw. And would have definitely been eating pussy left and right. Given the chance just to subdue bitches at every fucking turn. And every chance he gets. And shout out to Ben Affleck too. Because now J-Lo just turned 52. Happy birthday to J-Lo. Still looking immaculate. Still looking incredible. Fine as fuck as ever. Basically what I'm saying. I'm barely going to be 36 this year. I hope to fucking look halfway decent. You know, I, I hope that even as a fucking bad joke, as somebody, as a security guard in a good enough mood that day, the next time I go to like out the dance or a bar or whatever, they might even consider doing me a favor, throwing me a freebie and be like, hey, ID, sir, whatever. Ha ha ha. For a cheap laugh and shit. She's looking amazing. Of course, you know, she's rich. She can afford fucking treatment, whatever, too, as well. But then again, what is in those Puerto Rican genetics where she'll be a fucking grandmother and she'll still be fine as fuck, according to whoever you ask? I mean, if you want, ask Ben Affleck if you get the chance to, because he all, he's all hugged up and smooching her, lip locking, just like that video she did back when, when they were a couple of first time around, too. Now, we'll probably get another video of them all smooched up, but hopefully, it won't be the kiss of death that splits them apart again. Because after that video came out back when, I think Jenny from the Block, when they were on a yacht and shit, too, kissing up and hugged up and all that, too, I think not too long after they broke up. So let's hope and see. That this doesn't happen again this time around. Because now all the kids are involved. The ones he had besides J-Lo. The ones she had besides Ben Affleck and shit too. It looks like it could be a big happy family. Just let's make sure it becomes just that. Batman eating pussy is what brought me here to begin with. This great fucking piece of slice. Which I will look at and admire and desire. Just like some hot warm piping hot pussy out the oven as well too shout outs to the swiss slice shout outs to marco shout outs to child bella shout outs to at least that one two block radius of brooklyn where he has both his businesses located i'll try to go back as often as i can but it's not that close so it's like an hour and a half each way for me to get out there but it's all right i'll make the trip for the sake of this fucking slice which is really good the Gargonauts, I recommend wholeheartedly. I'm going to write up a fucking Google Maps review, whatever else I can to contribute to him positively. I encourage you to do the same if you get the chance to go to Brooklyn and look up the Swiss Slice.
that's it for today. I'll be back next week as regularly scheduled with Off Bucket, as well as Who This Been Watching. First IG Live at Who This Is One. That version cleaned up, ready for YouTube. Be up on YouTube.com backslash Who This Is One a couple of days, give or take a week afterwards, as well as that audio version. And this audio version of this podcast will be available up on any podcasting platform that you choose to use. Apple, iTunes, Spotify, Stitcher, SoundCloud, Amazon, for God's sakes. It's free. Don't let China fool you and give you a bootleg of all fucking called, oh, fuck that. And, and try to pass it off as, you know, um, $3, $5, whatever, and sell it to you underhandedly. No, you come to me, the OG original source, and I'll give it to you as I've been giving you who this been watching, everything on YouTube, all fucking free. Goose egg. Big fat fucking zero. That's the price tag I add on to this shit. Yo, it's over. All right, it's over. It's over. Move the mic. Move the mic. Thank you. <laughs>